After over two decades away from our screens, Gladiators is back, but where are some of the original cast now? Shadow was one of the most popular stars of the hit ITV show. He was axed from the show in 1995 after being caught snorting cocaine and testing positive for steroids. Michael Jefferson King, now 62, was jailed in 2021 for his part in a blackmail plot where he threatened to kneecap a drug user. As Jet, Diane Udale was a popular face for viewers. After leaving the show following four series, Diane began working as a psychotherapist and Pilates instructor. She recently announced her engagement to her partner on a podcast. Hunter, or James Crossley, was the youngest cast member as he was just 19 when he started. He has continued to live a healthy lifestyle and now has a yoga teacher girlfriend. Kim Betts was a gymnast before she was lightning on Gladiators in 1998. Kim became a successful businesswoman with 15 years in property development and now running her own beauty parlour. Cobra or Michael Wilson admitted to being drunk often during filming for Gladiators back in the day. He has now left the showbiz world and works in youth clubs across the UK. Rhino or Mark Smith exited the show in 1999 and went on to become a successful actor living in Los Angeles. He now lives in West London, still maintains a healthy lifestyle and shares his big physique on Instagram. Ace or Warren Furman was also known for being Katie Price's first fiancé back in the day. He now lives in York with his wife and two children and is very religious. Gladiator's Wolf starred in eight seasons, becoming the main villain. Now, Mike Van Wyk, who's living in New Zealand, is just as ripped but has far less hair than he did back in the day. Sharon Davies was called Amazon on Gladiators and was a successful Olympian before that. She's since been in the spotlight for campaigning to exclude transgender athletes from women's sport. And Bernadette Hunt, known as Falcon, was a familiar face among viewers at home. Sadly, Bernadette died in March 2023 at the age of 59 following a cancer diagnosis.